Welcome back to World Drum Club. At a viewer request, I'm gonna be showing you the percussion parts in the Rolling Stones tune, Sympathy for the Devil, really popular tune. And if you don't know it, go listen to it, or watch this and then go listen to it. So there's really three things that are happening at the beginning of that song. Uh, two of them happen right away, and then one comes in, three percussion instruments. One of them is congas, or a conga in this case. I'm just gonna play one drum for this example. So those of you that have one drum, you can play this. There is a maraca, and I'll talk about the sound of the maraca in a minute. And then there's a scraper. I'm gonna be using a wiro for this. I think the one in the recording might've been a metal, one of those uh, metal wiros or like a torpedo shaker scraper thing. It sounds like, a, like it's metal, but for this example, I'm gonna use a wiro. You can use a heco heco or a wira or any kind of metal scraper you want. So here we go. The first pattern, that the conga drum is playing is basically a simple tumbao. Uh, you guys know this, you've seen me do it, lots of teachers teach this. Uh, it's basically this one, one, two, three, four. A little bit faster. So let's get that recorded and then I'll come back to it. So I'm going to record it into my looper here. And um, yeah, let's go. We'll kind of put that in the background for a second. Hopefully you can all hear me. I don't know how this is gonna come out in the mix. So the next sound is the maraca and um, it's a pretty plasticky sounding maraca. It's kind of like an old school. I thought of what you might find in a music education classroom, like elementary school maraca. So I've got one of those style. Now I've also got a little, um, another maraca that's a little bit tighter, but listen to the sound. When you listen to the recording, it's kind of like this. It sounds like this. And then there's a little rhythmic element that the whoever's playing it, and I don't know if it's Charlie Watts or somebody else, little element that they put in, which is a little double kind of shake right towards the end of the phrase. So if we count it, one, two, three, four, ra, two, three, four, ra. And the way I'm doing that is basically drumming the rhythm. Something like that. So you just do a little extra movement. Let's get that recorded and uh, see what that sounds like. So that's a pretty um, nutty maraca. Now you could use something like this one. A little bit tighter sound, uh, but I'm gonna leave this one because it's more like the actual recording. I'm just pointing that out that um, you've got a range there, different choices. All right, let's go let's see what we got here. Okay, and then the last instrument that you really hear Clearly, is that metal wira or wiro? And again, I don't know exactly what they were using, but I'm going to use the wira or wiro. <laughs> One, two, three. It's like this. So let me pause a second and show you what I'm doing there. So I'm I'm really using a downward motion the whole time, like a one and two and like down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? So tapping one and two and three and four and one. And the reason I'm doing that is because I wanna capture the downward strokes, but I also wanna capture these syncopated rhythms that you find before beat um, four and after on the end of uh, the E of beat four. I, I'm gonna give you guys a notation. If you're a patron, I'll give you guys a notation on the patreon.com slash Kalani page. But for now, um, we're gonna count it 
one, two, three, a four E. 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 That's how you would count it. So we've got one, two, three, and then a couple sixteenth notes before and after beat four. And the and the reason I want to keep this moving this way, one and is I'm gonna play those upbeats, the syncopated beats, the sixteenths on the upstroke. Um, you can do it all downs, but I'm just going to show you how I might play it up because I like that, keeping that uh, reciprocating action. So let's try that. Three, four. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up. Let's try to record that. See what happens. Recording, Sympathy for the Devil, Rolling Stones, Charlie Watts is a drummer. I don't know if he was playing all the percussion or not. Maybe you can find out and leave it in the comments. Um, that was by a patron's request. So you can play it on one conga. You've got your maracas and the scraper. Um, there's also at the beginning of the tune, you'll hear what sounds like maybe a, um, a floor tom and maybe the rim of the drum or something. There's a, there's a drum in there and he's playing like the rim or the edge or something. Uh, so you'll hear that sound like a stick on a rim. That I'm not doing here because that technically would be on the drum set. So there is that element. And go check out the song and enjoy. And if you like this video, if you got some out of it, please give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. You know you know the drill. All right. I'll see you, you guys over at patreon.com slash where we have tons more lessons complete courses. Go check it out. Uh, and uh, maybe this will help you have sympathy for the devil or not. Leave your kind comments below. I'll see you in a future lesson.